Hello folks, it's the Siggy. Welcome to my latest video. What I'm looking at today is the latest update for World of Arms on Windows. This is update 16. I've been promised an awful lot of changes, um, server, back-end stuff, anti-hacking measures. Can't have enough of them. Basically, when you go to click onto your um, World of Arms icon, you should be told that you've got to do an update and you'll be taken to this screen to carry out the update on Windows. Go over to the right hand side, you can also slide up from the bottom as well I understand. Click on settings, app, updates, check for updates. Now I've already done the update so mine should say no updates available. Okay so we're going to go back to uh, World of Arms and we're going to open it up. I've not seen this before, so you're seeing it live as I do. Okay. Still says, oh, now we've started. 16%. Is it going to get further than 16%? Oh, 55. And this is on quite a fast computer i7 processor, plenty of RAM, a fast fiber connection. I guess some of you guys will be uh, waiting for quite a while for this. However, that said, I haven't got Windows 10 yet, and there are a number of people who said that Windows 10 makes things extremely slick. Well, this appears to be hanging at 5%. So, live action, or actually in action. I'm going to close this down and try again. <coughs> Excuse me. Right then, checking for updates. Five. Yep, we got there before. Oh, it's moved. 20%. 35%. Are we excited yet? Well, about a third excited, Siggy. So I've currently been nearly three minutes this video already, as if I don't... Oh, so there's a... Uh, it's going again. We do have to accept, I mean, there's, there's been some significant changes on this. And I know a lot of people are moan, but with such big changes, they have announced, Gameloft have announced, that there will be a number of glitches. Right. So it took me... Three and a half minutes to get in. Okay. My first screen is I've leveled up. I don't know what the unlocked bit is, but I'll just okay that. Uh, you can change it on the lock screen. Now, I'm not going to allow that for the time being. Oh, another level. Another level. Okay, um, first impressions are, it is very slick. Um, it does seem brighter. There's a lot less clutter across the top. Um, we've now got our settings here, over on the left hand side, if you recall before, there was over here, um, on the drop down menu. And we've got a few other items Oh no, same sort of items, it's just a little bit more organised. Or edit for moving things about. Settings, which, yep, is pretty much the same. I'm just going to take off my extended view on chat. So that I can show you guys better. Um, I've got a message on there, let's have a quick look here. So we've got our settings, we know the settings, although the icon has moved, 
it's the same sort of thing. I like the idea of this. This is now is that translucent, opaque. I'm not sure. Just gonna have a little click on this arrow. Oh, it says that I've either got gifts, two stars. Spoil me. And I'm ready to upgrade, but I shall do my upgrade later. Got four weeks protection. Oh dear me. Keep fighting and we keep end up getting attacked back. So it goes. Um my faction HQ, which was here, has disappeared. Now I have um, asked a number of people and I'm told it will return but oh it's there is that its place now hmm how odd ok one development facility there that it won't allow me to click on oh it does ah that's because I've levelled up a couple of times I shall sort that in a minute um, as we come round, let's see what other changes there are. They appear to have lost development centre. No, it's there. There's no bigger areas we can unlock. No, that's pretty cute. I do like the idea that. The faction headquarters. Um, oh, one research center and development center is now not space that's got to take up on my map. They are essential items. Right, let's have a quick look on here. 1.45 mil. Oh, that's on my level. 598.6 mil. 46 hearts. <coughs> oh, I see. We're, we're using, is it significant figures? SF, where we're using, um, oh, my, my marbles have gone, but 23k, 23,000. Missions, now on here, I've got some goals. The more we expand the base, oh, so we can, no we can't, <laughs> got our campaign, which as far as I know I've completed, um, back onto campaign there, got the underwater threat, yeah I have completed it, previously it did actually say down the bottom here it's completed. I am quite impressed with the screen though, it does seem incredibly brighter. Right, so I'm going all over the place anyway. So we've got the shop, let's have a look if there's anything that looks to be new in here. No, military, no, specials, nothing new there. It's just like Christmas this. Oh, all the family. Oh, and sober as well. So we've got our shop. I guess that's going to take us down to our underwater area. We'll go to that in a minute. Um, that's our stats again. Right, this. Ah. That's where my faction is now. Fight menu. Oh, that's a little bit more slick. Gifts, okay. Friends, oh, I see. So log in on Facebook, and there's my army strength. Okay, now it just shows my alliance. It doesn't show the members of people that I've got um, within my faction. It used to be as two items, as you're aware. By the looks of things, we've got 10 screens on here. It'd be interesting to see if these stay. Okay, let's go back home. 
Right, um, yes, I know I've got a lot of work to do. Let's go underwater. Zoom out a little. Collect a little bit of thorium there. There's no big changes. Yeah, I need more work going on my underwater. So, no changes there. Okay, let's go back up. Right, I have been told... Oh, that's cool. So, what we can do is we can actually get to our HQ by clicking on it. Yes. And we can also get to the HQ through that button there. I'm sure there was something else here for a minute ago. Ah, perhaps it was the collecting coins from here. Well, I reckon that's been long enough. Um, what I'll do is I'll produce a subsequent one as I've had more of an exploration just to see how uh, how it's changed. But first impressions... Siggy likes it, but let's be fair, we don't please all the people all the time, and I'm easily pleased. Thank you for watching the Siggy. Until next time, see you later.